Hello guys, it's EA Info here. If you are not familiar with our channel, here we discuss technology and life hacks for the improvement of our lives. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the inner workings of a computer. Computers are complex machines that rely on many different components working together to function. By understanding the basics of how these components work and interact with each other, we can gain a deeper appreciation for the incredible power and versatility of modern computers. We'll start by going over the parts of a computer, then dive into how they work together to make a computer function. The parts of a computer. A computer is made up of several essential components, including the central processing unit, CPU, random access memory, RAM, storage devices like hard drives and solid state drives, SSDs, input-output devices like keyboards, mice, and monitors, and finally, the motherboard that connects all of these components. The CPU is the brain of the computer, and it performs all of the processing and calculations needed to run programs and execute commands. The RAM, also known as main memory, is the computer's temporary storage space, where it stores data, that the CPU is currently using. The storage devices, like hard drives and SSDs, provide the computer with permanent storage for files, programs, and other data. Input-output devices, like keyboards, mice, and monitors, allow users to interact with the computer, inputting data, and receiving visual feedback. The motherboard is the main circuit board of the computer, and it connects all of these components, allowing them to communicate and work together seamlessly. How a computer works. Now that we've gone over the parts of a computer, let's talk about how they work together to make a computer function. When you turn on your computer, the CPU first performs a series of checks to ensure that all of the components are working properly. Once it determines that everything is functioning as it should, the CPU begins to execute the instructions that are stored in the computer's memory. These instructions might include starting up the operating system, launching applications, or performing tasks like playing music or browsing the web. As the CPU executes these instructions, it relies on the RAM to quickly access and process the data that it needs. If the computer needs to access files or programs that are stored on the hard drive or SSD, it will use the motherboard to communicate with these storage devices and retrieve the necessary data. Finally, as users interact with the computer through input-output devices like keyboards and monitors, the CPU processes the data that they input and generates the visual output that is displayed on the screen. That is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If it helped you understand the tech world better, please subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with friends. Leave the comments below. To see more interesting things, check out our previous videos. See you in the next video.